Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the look I'm going to be showing you guys today. So if you'd like to see how I got it, then please keep on watching. Alright, so I'm starting off with the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Dreamer. And I'm placing this on the outer V of my eye. And then I'm taking a Luxie Tapered Blending Brush. I believe this is the 205. And I am blending out that product. Please excuse my slight lisp in my voiceover. I currently have my whitening strips in. Alright, so I am just blending that out until it has a nice diffused edge. And then I'm going into my pastel goth palette and I'm taking the shade Doom on my MAC 217 brush and I'm placing this in my crease. And of course adding that to the outer V of my eye. And then I switched to the white shadow with a Morphe M441 I believe. It's just a bigger fluffier blending brush and I'm going over the brow bone area to make sure that they transition well into each other. Then I'm going back into the palette and I'm taking dagger which is the gray and I am adding this to the outer V of my eye and slightly into my crease. I'm picking off that eyelash glow it's so annoying and then blending uh, again with my MAC 217. So then I'm taking the Metal Crush Shadow in Static Age. I'm sorry, I didn't get a product shot. It's just really pretty silver color. Then I'm taking the Miss Argentina Liquid Lipstick on my Sigma E06 brush. And I am drawing a wing. And I just realized that I used all Kat Von D products in this video. How funny is that? Little one brand tutorial for ya. Alright, so after I have my wing perfected, I'm going to jump into this nail dotting tool. Then I'm going to start dotting on some dots using the end of that brush. I'm using Miss Argentina at first, and I'm kind of focusing this on the outer V of my eye. Then I'm going to be taking Roxy Liquid Lipstick, and of course doing the same thing. And next, taking Wolf and adding some more dots. I thought at this point I would add them to my wing. I thought it would look pretty cool. So that's what I did. And when you lighten the pressure on the brush, it kind of makes the dots smaller. And if you apply more pressure, the dots become bigger. So, a little tip. Then I decided to pick up more of Dreamer and add that in there because it was looking a little bit too dark so this just lightens it up a little bit. Now I'm taking more of Miss Argentina and on a pencil brush and I'm applying this to my lower lash line. I cannot speak. And I am blending it out as I go. 
Then I'm taking Clementine from the Pastel Goth palette and I am diffusing that edge and I'm going to be applying that to the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going into the Alchemist palette and I am taking Ultraviolet Amethyst and I am applying that to my inner corner and over top of the lower lash line. Next up, taking the Everlasting Lip Liner in Sexer and applying this to my waterline. And then I popped on some House of Lashes Iconics and this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on my next one.